Fiona, good morning. Morning. It's heartbreaking, uh, absolutely, what you're going through. I read your text. Thank you for coming on air. We are talking about uh, the graveyard in Bandon, are we not? Yeah. Yeah. And, and just tell us the story. As upsetting at all as it is for you, your, your little son, Matthew, um, you lost him yeah. last year. He was very, very small, very young, wasn't he? He was, yeah. He was six weeks old. Um, is he buried he, with he, your dad, is he? He's buried with my dad, all yeah. Right. Okay. And what's been going on? Um, basically, it started off about three weeks, uh, three months after he passed away and he was buried with my father. There was things broken. And as I have a big family, a lot of them said, oh, could just be the wind. So I left it and that was fine. Went up a few, uh, a few weeks later and you know the artificial flowers, they were all pulled out. So then I was like, okay, this is not the wind. And then it started getting worse there. Like, globes were broken. My dad's pot plants were broken. Your dad's what? Sorry? My dad's pot plants were broken and stuff. All the pot plants, yeah. yeah. You know, like, heavy stuff that wouldn't blow away, you know? Yeah, yeah. And I have been to the guards four times over this, and my elder sister was on to them as well and reported it. And to be honest, we were just waiting back to hear from them because they kept saying, oh, we'll we'll do something about it, we'll do something about it. But... To be honest, they actually haven't. And to be honest, they said to us to put a camera up there. And as I have a big family, a lot of them are like, why should we have to put a camera up there? Why why is it us to have to do it? Like, why can't they put up proper lights? Because there's no lights up. There's only one up there. Is that a graveyard without CCTV or lighting? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay, so it's pitch dark at night. It is, yeah. Yeah, yeah. See, I don't know how effective a camera would be, you know? I mean, like... Unless it's a motion sensor camera or something, you know. But, you know, that just means that somebody would smash the camera, wouldn't it? Yeah, they were saying to us, like, put a very, very small camera. And they're like 400 euros. Are they that dear? Are they really? They are, yeah. Um, Is it just that grave, Matthew and your dad's grave? Nothing else? No other grave around it? No. No. Have you any idea why? I don't know. As as like as family, we have been talking. Yes, everyone has enemies and stuff. But as we said, like no offense, but you don't go to someone's grave and you smash it up if you have a problem with someone in the family or anything. You go to them, not for a person to go and smash a grave. You know, absolutely not. But I mean, and th- this is just recently. It didn't happen to your dad's grave before Matthew passed away. No. Nope. Yeah. Just smashing everything. Is there is there is it is it is there a lot there in the sense that does it stand out the grave area with you know it the does, mementos? Yeah, small bit, yeah. When was the last time you visited? I last visited it the fourth of February for his first birthday and well, when we went Not we February because this there. is still January, you're saying maybe fourth oh, sorry, January. 4th of January. Yeah. Yeah, and um we, me and some family members went up there recently, only about two days ago, and there was a lot of things smashed again on it. It seems to happen when, see, I usually go up every second day, but with the COVID and stuff, you have restrictions to go and see, think, uh, get out, like, you know. Is it outside the 5K or something? It is, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it seems to happen when? The minute you do it up, it happens again straight away, it, is it? it? It happens when I'm not there, like. Of course. It, Basically, it's a few weeks to see. It's like someone's watching it or something, do you know, get what I mean? And when, like, they know that no one's around, they do it. And it's actually, sorry, it's actually really hard for all the family, and especially me, as it's my son, do you know? And little Matthew died at six weeks, caught death, wasn't it? Yeah. Just went to sleep. Yeah. I mean, there was, there was graves being vandalised up in Kilcully. I don't know whether you're aware of that in the north side of Cork. And that turned out to be somebody with mental health problems, right? But they did put up cameras and CCTV and all sorts of things there. And that's proving effective and extra lighting and things. Um, and yeah. there was many families up there were having their... Like, w- tell me about the, the headstone itself. Is that being damaged in any way, no? No, it's not. It hasn't been uh, broken or anything. But my family feared that it's going to be broken. They're just going to get some temper or something and actually do a lot of damage, like break the headstone. And to be honest, if that does happen, my family, I usually care enough, but when people annoy us that much, they would be like literally 
wouldn't be allowed to be anywhere near us because, to be honest, God knows what would happen. Yeah, but you see, that's all very well if you don't know who's doing it. Yeah. You don't know who's doing it, so you don't. We don't know. We yeah. don't know who it is. Yeah, yeah. Would you, I, I mean, I don't know what to tell you really, uh, unless unless we could get you a camera. Yeah. I mean, you're saying, are they really that expensive? They are expensive, yeah, because we went looking, we were like, oh, fair enough, the guards said get a camera. We looked them up and the way that they were saying, like, oh, they're, they're, they're not expensive, expensive, but they are expensive kind of way. And we were looking them up because you have to get a very small one. Uh, you have to have a sensor on it and stuff like that. It was just ridiculous as how much it was. And you You're know, saying like, they're coming in at about 400 euro, are they? Yeah. Well, you'd never know who might be listening that might be able to loan us one or borrow one for a week or two, you know? Um, yeah. You're wondering if other families had this happen yeah. to them and what advice. So a camera is it. one. I mean, another option, and I know it's very sad to have to say this, but stripping everything away and just leaving yeah. the grave with the headstone on its own could be a solution for now. Would that be something you consider? Take away all of the flowers, the mementos, Things like that. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Awful sad to have to do that, though, isn't it? It is, yeah. Of course, you could. Uh, have you considered doing shifts, watching, waiting? Well, usually that's what I was doing because they were all far away from the grave. And um, with the restrictions and stuff, I used to go in every second day to check it to make sure everything was okay. I know. But see, in the last two weeks, I haven't been there, you know. So you don't know what condition it's in now? Um, no, not at the moment. I haven't visited today, no. Yeah. And are there nice things upon the grave now, upon Matthew's grave now? There is, yeah. There's a few stuff like sentimental things that my my mother and my partner's mother and a few friends have put up and family members have put up. It must be... V- I know it is very upsetting for you because, you know, to lose a little boy like that so, so young. Um, has has Matthew brothers and sisters? Was he your first? He does, yeah. He has... Um, he's a brother that's three, uh, three-year-old and when he goes up there and he's wondering, oh, what's happened to us? And you're trying to explain, oh, it, it was an accident. We'll fix it, you know? Because a three-year-old doesn't understand, like... And best keep it that way, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let, let's see if discreetly, discreetly, says he talking about it on live radio, if we can get um, one of these little cameras even just to borrow it. You never know who might be listening. You're saying something very small, motion sensor, it would be loaded onto your, probably your mobile phone and it would automatically yeah. record if somebody were near the grave. You know, wouldn't that be a super thing? Yeah, it would. Okay, and maybe other advice from people who perhaps are listening that might have some advice or have been through this. It's a big art investigation into the incidents in Kilcully because that was a lot of graves and, and yeah. hammers were being used and things against headstones. So, um, you know, they, they took that quite seriously and put in... But you're saying this is just an isolated case, only Matthew is, and your yeah. dad. Yeah. Um, apparently, you can get a thing called a wildlife trail camera. A good one is about 70 euro. The camera only triggers when someone passes the camera and it'll record for about three minute segments at a time, says Paul. So there are cheaper options, Fiona, you know? Yeah. Um, Actually, also I'm told there's no restrictions on visiting graves, are there? Uh, No. So you there could- is sometimes see, see, it depends on how far you're going because some of the guys I've been stopped and they're like, oh, you can't, it's not really essential uh, journey kind of thing because of I'm about about uh, half an hour, 45 minutes journey from the grave. Yeah, but I don't think anybody would turn you back though, would they? There was actually two guys that actually stopped me and said I wasn't allowed to go and I got very angry over it, to be honest. And did you say I'm going to visit my son's grave? Yeah, I did, yeah. And they still sent you home? Yeah. <sighs> I think they're I think they're the occasions when a bit of cop on is needed, don't you? It is, yeah. A bit of cop on is right. Okay, okay. Okay, oh my God, what the hell is wrong with people, Neil? Vandalizing a grave. What is wrong with people? They're so sick in the head. I'm getting a lot of texts on this. Um, and also people saying to me that you shouldn't have to take everything off your baby's grave. And it wasn't a good suggestion on my behalf, but it was a suggestion meant uh, from the heart. But listen, let, let's, let's see if we can get other advice from people and also sort out a camera, right? 
Okay? Yeah. Okay, okay. Okay, I'll be back to you, Fiona, all right? Perfect.